Hey y'all, so we are jumping right into today's style. I'm starting off with freshly washed and blow dried hair. If you have a blunt cut, a bob, or anything like that, like I do, you want to make sure that you don't blow it out completely straight. You want to leave lots of texture so when you're doing your braids, you don't have those like blunt ends sticking out. I'm about to show you guys all of the products and tools that I will be using for today's style. Well, most of these items can be found in my Amazon storefront. It's linked in my description box. I think this particular list is called Protective Style Essentials right there with the blonde hair. You can see most of the stuff that I like to use so you'll see what I did for my blonde braids when I went to Miami. You'll see my hair rack. You'll see favorite shot and James hairs, all type of different items and tools. So of course you're gonna need a shine and jam or whatever like jam that you like to use. I like the one that's infused with honey. My favorite edge control for a minute has been the edge booster style factor. When it comes to parting, I like to get a comb with this particular top and the metal tail because it's the perfect comb for parting speaking of parting i'm standing in between two mirrors that's going to help out with the back of my head a lot of course the edge brush when it's time to do edges the dirtier the better in my opinion these duck clips i think that's what they're called are perfect for when you are doing like intricate styles like this or braids just because it keeps all the hair away hair ties hair clips to keep the hair out the way okay boom those are the essentials now for the finishing products uh this is so important a finishing oil make sure you oil your scalp every day okay after you do this style because you don't want your scalp to be dry um i am going to be applying this lot of body mousse when i'm done my hair i'm gonna pump that all over and then i'm gonna seal it I'm probably going to use a combination of both of these in terms of hairsprays because I want my braids to last and look fresh for a decent amount of time. Here is the trick. You're going to wrap your hair with these wrap strips. I know y'all see all the hairstylists do this from TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Yeah, once you add all that product, you don't want it to just stick and be all willy-nilly. You want to lock it into place. Yes, I showed you guys the hair that I'm using. Um, in terms of braiding hair, my favorite go-tos are Expressions and Free Trust. Today I'm using Free Trust. I think it's their Shake and Go Pack. It's a very natural texture and it matches my hair well. So yeah, those are all the products that I'll be using in today's style. Well, basically these are my two like guide pictures that I'm going to be using. This one, T, okay? So I think this is kind of like the size I'm going to go for. And then in terms of length, this is how long I want my braids to be. So with that all being said, let's jump into it. The first thing I'm going to do is section out my first row in the back. I'm going to do four individual braids, like knotless braids in the back. And then I'm going to top it with a row of five. They're going to be very small, but it's just going to help with the fullness of the overall look. <music> So now that I have all the 
of the knotless braids in the back it's time to do the cornrows in the front but we're gonna see what i do with my freestyle in terms of adding the braiding hair i'm going to use my ear as a pinpoint basically once i get behind my ear that's what i'm going to start incorporating the braiding hair and i'm using very small pieces just like i did in the back because honestly i'm trying to keep this to one pack of hair i don't want to use more than one pack of hair because i don't feel like leaving out the house okay basically all i'm going to do is freestyle my parts i'm freestyling the patterns i'm freestyling everything one shot to your heart without breaking your skin no one has the power to hurt you like your kid kept it inside didn't tell no one else didn't even want to admit it to yourself and now your chest burns and your back aches from 15 years of holding the pain and now you only have yourself to blame if you continue to live this way I want my video to have all the vibes and be very entertaining but I also want it to be informative because I know a lot of you guys are beginners and you're just starting out so here are my main tips and tricks when it comes to this style use as many duck clips as you possibly can you'll see that I'm even using duck clips to keep my baby hairs out of the way because you will grip unwanted hair as you're braiding so I like to keep the duck clips as close as possible to the part of the braid that I'm working on because it helps keep those unwanted hairs out of the way number two when you are parting that is the only time that you should be using jam unless you're slicking your hair down towards the bottom of the braid like the plait area I do not put jam on the hair that I'm actually comb rolling because in my opinion the drier the hair the better the grip if you have too much product your hair would be too slippery and you will be here all day trying to grip hair that is covered in product. It's just not going to work. Number three, when it comes to braiding the back of that head, the back of that noggin, make sure you part smaller sections back there. You don't want to incorporate too much hair because the back of your head becomes narrow and you have less hair back there to work with, okay? Um, And I think my last tip is to just have patience. I know you guys are beginners. You do not have to do the intricate parts and braids that I'm doing. You'll see later I get a little fancy on y'all just because I wanted to test myself and push myself and see what my skills was set on, okay? Because I haven't done braids in a while. So you do not have to do the squiggly braids and... The curved braids just you know stick to straight backs if you're just starting out with slanted parts or something like that something easier to do until you build your skill set okay I did some of these braids four five six times over of course I'm not going to show you that because it's repetitive but it takes time and it takes patience so yeah just enjoy the process okay. i hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far if so please give me a like i really really would appreciate it you can fly, fly. dark future ahead of me that's what they say i'd be starving if i ate all the lies they fed cause i've been redeemed from your anguish and pain a miracle child, I'm floating on a cloud Cause the words that come from your mouth You're the first to hear Speak words of beauty and you will be there I thank God that I'm done, y'all, because I just feel like my my fingers, they're, they're dead. They're done. They can't do not one more braid, alright? I gave myself a goal of being finished by 8 p.m. It is 7.20. This is like the quickest I've ever did my hair. I took breaks as well. So I started at 10.45, took a break around 12, took another break around 3. Because I've been standing this entire time. But 
all the braids are done okay and they are beautiful they are laying nice and flat about to show you the back her okay getting to it they are nice and full like i can put some to the front have some in the back and it still look good so this is all of them to the front like if i didn't do those two rows of individuals this would look skimp it would probably look like it'll probably look like this and that is not cute so now for the finishing touches i'm going to be drowning my head in my body this is not the best mousse but it's the mousse that i got this about to feel too good oh oh heavens there is a god Ooh, it was mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. always make sure you get your back and you um go down the braids a little bit because that's where all your flyaways and like the ends of your hair and nine times out of ten are sticking out and i was really proud of the designs that i was able to do like i had no intentions on doing those but they came out really really cute so now that the mousse is on i'm gonna spray with the tresemme Trying to do this before my battery dies. Spray a lot. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying to also watch the mousse disappear from this because of the spray. So yeah, and I had hair left over from that one pack, y'all. So we did great today. So I'm only going to put the pump it up spray at the front of my head. <clears throat> like so like that. And then I'm going to take these strips and wrap them around my head. Actually, a lot. I'm gonna put some back here too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look crazy, but I have to put this one towards the front of my head. So, like under my chin. Because this is all wet, what you wanna do is blow dry your head to make it all dry. Alright, so off camera, I went ahead and I dipped my ends in boiling hot water. Literally, I turned on my my tea kettle and i dip my hair in a big bowl like that and this is how you get seamless flat nice sleek ends also when i'm done dipping them i spray it with the tresemme and i blow dry it a little bit and i feel like that locks in exactly what you just did with the water if that makes sense and it gives them a shine and like there's no hair out of sight, like no hair left behind. So, boom, that's done. Now, it's time to take these off so I can actually hear myself talk and I can stop looking crazy. But this is the reveal. And you see how it like sticks to your head? That's how you know you locked in whatever you just did. You can't tell me my hair don't look professionally done. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what nobody I just say. It looks too good. So, real quick, I'm about to put some oil on my scalp. I'm going to do this every single night. Okay. I'm going to get the back too. Don't worry. This is a, a oil that I make but you can just use your favorite oil. I find it to look really, really cute when the girls like flat out their edges and do it that way, but I do not do that, bro, because one time I played around and I was using too high of a heat and my little edges was trying to fry off. <laughs> I don't got time for that, okay? And I, I learned how to do the look 
the little swoop with just edge control. So I'm about to put y'all on. So basically all you do is find a good edge control that you like, mold your hair down, and then we'll start brushing. I brush first and then sometimes I have to follow up with the comb if it's not doing what I want it to do. But basically you just swoop into your desired shape and then you're going to take a little bit extra and put it on the hair down here. You're probably like, what? Yeah, girl, put it on the hair down there. Because once, once you get your comb, once you get your comb and start combing it through, that's what's going to allow your hair to like curl and actually stay up. If that makes sense. And I am very hairy. My um sideburns are extremely long, so I I'm okay with my little hairs like sticking out. Cause at this point I have to be. And then I just like play around with my hair. And eventually it's gonna give me a swoop. Okay. And that's how I do it. You have to use your fingers when you do your edges, like or it's not gonna work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is always my favorite side. Ew, if you see any white stuff, it's that, uh, that spritz, believing that white stuff. I don't, I don't like that. Mm -mm. So, yeah, this is the final product, you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a full 360. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check me out, check me out. Purr, 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 purr. The hair is super long. It cuffs my butt. I just got a new tripod and I'm not sure how to shorten it yet. <laughs> I have to learn out. I have to figure out how to do that. But yeah, you guys, this wraps up my video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comment down below how you feel about the style and what other styles I should do next or what styles you want to learn because y'all know I'm here to teach y'all how to do everything by yourself. We are DIY queens over here, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm.